Dearly beloved, I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Are you happy? How are you all? We must always be happy in the Lord. Jesus desires that you should be always happy. It's for you to be happy that the Lord has been speaking to you and blessing you. Are you listening to the scriptures? Through this program, we pray for you without fail. Let those who watch and listen to the messages through this program be blessed. Let them always be happy in the Lord. Let the blessing of the Lord remain in their life. We keep praying for you all without ceasing. Even today, the Lord is giving you a word in Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 6. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. We might be worrying about certain things as to how they would be possible. Will it happen? Is it possible for me to do this? Are you thinking like that? In the early stages of my ministry, I used to pray like this, Lord, what must I do? Why you have chosen me for your ministry? Why have you brought me to this village called Nalumavadi? In turn, the Lord God showed me many plans and strategies. You must do all these things in this village. Many missionaries will rise up from here and go throughout the world. The gospel will be taken to the ends of the earth from this place. Like this, the Lord showed me many things as a vision, but I wasn't happy. I was not glad at all about so many plans that the Lord had for me. So I replied to him, how can I do all this? I am not wise or educated or experienced enough to do all these things. Neither are there such facilities available in this village. You are talking about such a huge plan, but how can I do that? My prayer to the Lord was only like this. Do you know how the Lord replied to me? It is not by your might, nor by your power, wisdom or skills, but by my spirit. I will do it for you. It will be fulfilled by my spirit. My spirit will descend upon you and strengthen you. He will give you wisdom and guidance and he himself will do it through you. Do not depend upon your wisdom or strength but depend completely on my spirit. Then I surrendered myself to the Lord God and said, Lord, it's not by my strength, nor by my power or wisdom. Neither do I have skills or experience for that. I depend completely upon you. Saying this, I completely surrendered myself to him. And he filled me with the strength of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord himself is doing all this. Do you think that all this is done by my strength? No, it's by the strength that the Holy Spirit gives me. God gives us His Holy Spirit and empowers us to do these things. The Holy Spirit of God has a name and it is the Spirit of Wisdom. He will guide us with His wisdom. The Holy Spirit of God has a name and it is the Spirit of Power. He will empower and strengthen us and guide us. If only the Spirit of God is with us, He will lead us wonderful and give us victory. You may be wondering how you can be victorious in your life, your family life, work or business or studies or whatever you do. You cannot do it with your own strength or power. But when the Holy Spirit descends upon you, you can do it. He is the spirit of wisdom, power, of love, empowerment and quickening. If only the Holy Spirit comes into us, His power will empower us and give us grace to do everything. So ask for Him, Lord, give me the power of the Holy Spirit. Give me your power and lead me. Then the power of the Holy Spirit will descend upon you. You will become the one who completes everything victoriously. Now those who want this power can place your hand on your heart and pray for a moment. Dear Father, this son, this daughter is praying that he or she needs the power of the Holy Spirit to empower them so that they may complete everything victoriously. They need your grace and strength for that. Let the power of your anointing fall on them right now. Let the power of the Holy Spirit descend. Give them grace so that they are empowered and led by you. We pray in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, dear Father. Amen. Amen.